Hello Three Mandela and welcome to your first math lesson of this week. Today we are going to be starting work on a new block. In this block we will be learning about money. Let's think back to our prior learning and what we learnt about when we were in year two. In year two you learnt to count coins and notes. You learnt to compare different amounts of money. You found different ways to make the same amount. You worked out the amount of change and you used your knowledge of addition and subtraction to help you to solve problems in year involving money. Let's think about our new learning. In year three, you will learn to know the value of each coin and note and to understand what these values represent. You will convert between pounds and pence using your knowledge that one pound is 100 pence. You will add two amounts of money together to find the total. You will use different methods to subtract money. Finally, you will use a number line and the part whole model to subtract to find the change. Today, we are going to be recapping on our learning from last year when we learnt to count money in pence. Our lesson objective for today is, can I count money in pence? In today's lesson, we will be recapping our learning from year two so that we are able to know the symbol for pence. And this symbol is the P sign. We will also count in 1P, 2P, 5P, 10P and 20P coins. And we will identify which coins are silver and which coins are copper. Let's start by looking at the different coins that we have in the United Kingdom. I'm going to point to the coins and I want you to tell me which coin I am pointing to. What is this coin? This is the one pence coin. What is this coin? This is the two pound coin. What is this coin? This is the five pence coin. Let's have a look at this one. What coin is this? This is the two pence coin. Let's have a look at this coin. What coin is this? This is the 20 pence coin. What coin is this? This is the one pound coin. Let's look at this coin. This coin is the 50 pence coin. Have a look at this coin. What coin is this? This is the 10 pence coin. Now we need to sort the coins into the different boxes. We have a box here that says pence and we have a box here that says pounds. I want you to grab your whiteboard or a piece of paper and draw two boxes. Label one box pence and one box pounds. Then you are going to sort the coins between the two boxes. We're going to do one together to get started. This is our one pence coin. We know it is a one pence coin. So we know it belongs in the pence box. Pause the video while you organize the coins into the two boxes. Let's check how you got on. Let's look at all of the different coins and sort them into the correct box. Let's start with this coin. This coin says 
two pounds. And because it says pounds, I know it belongs in my pounds box. Let's look at this coin. This is our two pence coin. So it belongs in our pence box. Let's move on and look at our next coin, which is a five pence coin. We know that it belongs in the pence box. Let's look at our next coin. Let's look at this coin. It is a 20 pence coin, so it would belong in our pence box. Let's have a look at our one pound coin. It has the word pound on it, so we know it belongs in the pounds box with the two pound coin. Let's have a look at this coin. It says 10 pence. And because it has the word pence on, that helps us to know that it belongs in the pence box with the other coins that have that have pence written on them. Finally, let's look at this coin. This is our 50 pence coin. And because it is a pence, it belongs in our pence box. Let's look at the coins in the boxes in a little bit more detail now. Our one pence and our two pence coin are both copper in colour. Can you say the word copper? Copper. 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 Let's look at our five pence, our 10 pence, our 20 pence and our 50 pence coin. These are all silver. Can you say the word silver? Silver. 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 Let's look at our coins in the pounds box. What do you notice about them? They have silver on them and gold. Silver and gold. Can you say that with me? Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Let's move on to the next part of our lesson. Our question says, what is the total of the coins below? So we are going to work to find the total of the coins. And we can use our knowledge of counting in ones, fives, tens and twos to help us to do this. We're going to do one together and then you're going to pause the video while you work out the total for the remaining two questions. Let's look at the first one together. We've got 10 pence coins, so we know that we need to count in tens. Can you count in tens with me? 10, 20, 30, 40. So I have 40 pence. I now need to count in twos. Can you count in twos with me? Two, four, six. So I have six pence. Now I need to add my 40 pence and my six pence. What is 40p add 6p? That's right, 40p add 6p is 46p. And can you see I've remembered to include the symbol for pence or the P sign at the end. And that's really important in your work today that you remember to do that. Pause the video and find the total for the next two groups now. Let's have a look at the next question. Did you count in fives to help you find the total? Count in fives with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 20. 30. So I've got 30 pence. Then we counted in ones. Can you count in ones with me? One, two, three, four. 
30 pence and four pence is 34 pence. Did you find that total? Did you remember to write the P symbol? Well done. Let's look at our final question. We've got 20 Ps and two Ps. Did you count in 20s? Let's see if anyone can count in 20s with me. 20, 40. So I know that two 20 Ps together make 40 P. Then count in twos. Two, four. So that's four pence. So I've got 40 pence, add four pence, which makes 44 pence. Did you get the correct total? Did you remember to write the P symbol? Well done, let's move on. The Mastronaut says, I have two different types of coins. I have 40p. So it's really important that we break this down and we highlight the important information that we are going to need to help us solve the problem. So the astronaut says, I have two different types of coins. I have 40p. So that tells me that I am using two different types of coins to make 40. Using what we have just learnt about coins, we are going to find some different ways to make 40p. Pause the video whilst you have a think about which coins you could use to make 40p. Remember, you are only using two different types of coins to make 40p. Pause the video now and have a think. So let's break this down. Let's think about some of the different ways that we could make 40p using two different types of coins. So the first coin we could get to help us would be 20p. And if I use a 20p, I've used one type of coin, but I still need to find another coin to help me to make 40p. So this time I've used two 10p's or two 10 pence coins because 20p add 10p is 30p and if I add another 10p I make 40 pence. You might have found a different way. This is another way that I found to make 40 pence. I used a 20 pence coin and my second type of coins was 5p's. So let's count in fives to see how much I've got there. Five, 10, 15, 20. 20 pence at 20 pence equals 40 pence. What is the lowest number of coins she could have used? So that means what is the fewest number of coins she could use? Have a look at the two examples and see if you can find the lowest number of coins she could have. Let's count how many coins we had here. Count with me. One, two, three. So she used three coins. Let's have a look here and see how many coins she used. One, two, three, four, five. So the lowest number of coins she could have used is three coins. Let's have a look at this question now. Which coins could you use to make 60p? Which coins could you use to make 60 pence? I've got 
one, I've got some 10 pence coins. I've got some five pence coins and I've got some 20 pence coins. And we can use these coins to help us to make 60 pence. Let's find one way together and then we're going to pause the video to see if you think you can find a different way to make 60 pence. I'm going to start by taking a 20 pence coin. 20p. I'm going to take another 20p from this over here. So I've now got 40 pence. How much more do I need to make 60 pence? 40 pence, 50 pence, 60 pence. So I need another 20 pence. So I can take a 10 pence coin and another 10 pence coin to make 60 pence. Pause the video and using the coins on the screen, make 60 pence. Did you find a different way to make 60 pence? Let's see if we can find another way together. I'm going to use a 20 pence coin. I'm going to use another 20 pence coin. I'm going to use a 10 pence coin to give me 50 pence. And I'm going to use a 5 pence to give me 50 pence. And a 5p to give me 60 pence. Did you find some different ways? What was the fewest number of coins that you needed to make 60 pence? Because we can only use 20p twice because we've only got two 20p's there and 10p twice because we've only got two 10p's and 5p twice because we've only got two five pence coins, the fewest number of coins we needed to make 60 pence was four. 20 pence, add 20 pence, add 10 pence, add 10 pence equals 60 pence. So the fewest number of coins we needed to make 60 pence was four. Now it's your turn. Choose between activity one and activity two. Then challenge yourself with activity three. So let's have a look at your activities for today. Activity one, how much money is there? If you are completing activity one, I would like you to draw the coins to help you present your work. So once I've drawn the coins, I'm going to count how much I have. So let's count in ones to find how much money I have here. So count in ones with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven one pence coins. So my total is 7p. What do I need to remember to include in my answer? That's right, I need to remember to include the pence sign in my answer. So then you've got some more examples there to find the total for, to find how much money there is. Practice counting in tens and fives and twos and twenties to help you find the total. These ones are a little bit trickier because you've got some mixed coins. So let's look at the first one together. Let's count in tens to start with. 10, 20. So I know I've got 20 pence. Then I count my ones. One, two, 
three. So I know I've got three pence. 20 pence add three pence equals 23. So I write my answer in the box. Fantastic. If you choose activity two, I'd like you to draw the coins to make the amounts. So you need to draw the coins to make the amounts. Let's look at the first one together. So circle the coins to make 40p. So I can do that because I have the sheet in front of me, but you don't have the sheet at home. So you can draw the coins to help you. So you would draw a 20p and what other coin would you need to make 40p? Have a little think. That's right, you would need another 20p. When you move on to the next question, so the C question here, it says circle the correct total for the coins. So you can draw the coins and find the total and write the total next to it. Finally, when you have a go at the challenge question, it says William selects four of these coins. He can use the coins more than once. So he can use the coins more than once. What totals could he make? What is the lowest total? What is the greatest total? So each time William chooses four of the coins. What totals did William make? What is the lowest total? What is the greatest total? Try to work in a systematic way like you did last week with your multiplication. I'm looking forward to seeing your work on tapestry to see how you have got on with your learning today.